Hey guys, it's Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I wanted to take you for a walk around a short track 78 by 12 foot gravity tilt equipment trailer. This is the single axle scissor hauler series trailer. Uh, this is the only one of these we bring in. Short track also makes, or at least they used to, I'm not sure if they even still make it, but a five by 10 and then a, this trailer with a plus four at the front. So a six and a half by 12 plus four. So it'd have been like this with four foot stationary. Uh, this one here is the most common one we sell. We actually bring this in from a few other brands also in the same size. Seems to be uh, what most, most folks are going to be looking for in a size and weight rating standpoint. So this is a 6.5 by 12, 6.5 feet by 12 foot long. Uh, has a 7,000 pound axle. Now they're going to count 800 pounds of tongue weight and call this particular model a 7,800 pound GVW. So realistically, tongue transfer to the truck side via the ball there up front generally going to be about 15 percent or a thousand pounds on this one they've counted 800 pounds so they're calling it a 7800 pound gvw so everything here except for the oak floor is all standard equipment so the oak floor you see there uh, would be an option everything else is all standard stock equipment so let's start out up front and we'll show you around the trailer of the scissor tilts that we bring in uh, they're all a little bit different this one uh, pretty well built I have to say it's got some kind of neat, unique features. So let's go over them. We'll show you what makes this one a kind of a good value or a special trailer. So up front, it's got a 2 and 5 16th inch cast adjustable coupler. Kind of, I'll say a little bit unusual for a trailer to size to have an adjustable. If it does, kind of unusual to have a 2 and 5 16th. That's actually a heavy duty coupler more so than probably what needs to be on this one. But a lot of guys are using it commercially, so not a bad thing to have. It's got plenty of height adjustment which is important on this. It sits fairly low, designed to sit low to the ground, of course, to load that low to the ground equipment. This one's set all the way down. Uh, if you've got a taller vehicle, odds are you're going to be putting it more like all the way at the top. Uh, reinforced out in the coupler, of course, has your standard breakaway uh, battery. Of course, your safety chains. Safety chains on this are probably a little heavier than they need to be, but again, for a little 7K trailer, it's got a little bit heavy chains, but it ain't going to hurt anybody. It's got a nice uh holder for them or uh, a lot of guys are probably just going to stash them up front on the adjustable coupler it's also got a 7k drop leg jack if you're not familiar basically when you top wind the jack uh like so it's going to adjust this outer sleeve there's an inner sleeve that you can pull the pin and it'll allow it to uh, go in and out nice part is there's no need to haul uh wood block or similar around you've got plenty of adjustment on the leg uh for what most anybody's going to need you notice the uh, jack is bolt on uh, if you ever need to replace it fairly easy to do so uh, there is a plug holder for the plug which is nice standard seven pin rv blade style plug typical on most all trucks nowadays uh, this one's unique in that it has a toolbox uh, this is the only one i'm familiar with in the industry that actually does a standard toolbox it's nice gives you plenty of room for your chains, binders, similar. If you're in an area where you need to be locking your box, there is keys for the lock. Uh, this is a dual pin setup. So you've got a pin on either side uh, to lock it out. I went ahead and put it up just to make it easy. Nice setup, basically just a spring loaded pin, heavy duty plate. I see some manufacturers miss out on little details. This is a fairly simple design, but yet very, very effective. Uh, it's a five inch tube tongue and a five inch tube frame. Notice the gusset going back the tongue. This does have a cushion dampener cylinder, you'll notice. Fairly tight cross member spacing. Uh, I don't know what they would call this if they even give us a spec, but uh, certainly up front, you're about a 12 inch or less on center. Moving back, you're probably more like a 16, maybe. Uh, this does have a 7,000 pound torsion axle, as mentioned. Notice there are no springs. Uh, wiring's all grommeted, sealed, ran in frame. Short track's generally pretty good with details of their equipment. Notice the uh, triple tube tongue comes back, headers up, weight gets transferred uh, to the tongue coming back. Uh, another detail, lots of tie downs on this as we move back the trailer. You've got stake pocket tie downs, rub rail, and you've also got your four D rings. So lots of different ways you can tie down. 
Uh, we do the oak decking on this for a few reasons. One, certainly, uh, this is a trailer that some folks use pretty often. Oak is extremely durable. Uh, but also, it's rough cut, so we think it's going to give just a little bit better traction when you're trying to load uh, your smooth tired equipment. Tread plate fenders on this, of course, being a 7K axle, it's going to have an 8 lug wheel. It's a uh, silver wagon with a 235-80 R16 10-ply load range E radial tire. Uh, it does have the green cap on it, so this one is a nitrogen-filled assembly. It's also got your Easy Lube uh, plug. You can do your own bearing maintenance to trailers that have this cap. If you're lucky, you can get them with your thumb. It just has a standard uh, grease zert behind there, so you can service it with your own basic hand tools. You can do your bearing maintenance. Trailer is powder coated. Short truck does a nice blast and wash, uh, but it is a uh, is a powder coated trailer. Of course, there you see you got your D ring tie down behind the axle, and you've also got a stake pocket rub rail. Uh, the fender is supported front and rear by the gusset. It gives some extra strength there. Uh, lights on this are a sealed beam LED stop turn tail, and notice it's boxed into the rear. Now this is called a 12 foot trailer, but to be clear. You've got about a 33 inch knife edge, only two foot of that counts. So this trailer, if you're counting all the way to the rear is actually gonna end up about 12 foot nine on the deck. Uh, again, this is called a 12 foot, uh, but this tail here is counted as two foot length, but it ends up being about 33 inches. So one thing too, while I'm talking about tilts and angles and whatnot, this unit is gonna get about an 11 degree angle uh, low enough angle you can load uh, most of your smaller piece of equipment, your walk behind uh, trenchers or bobcats and whatnot. But the single most common piece of equipment on this would be uh, a scissor lift. Also get some guys that do UTVs, compact tractors, etc. All kinds of uses for a trailer like this. Now you notice or may have noticed that it's got a taller fender. That's because this unit does use the torsion drop equivalent, or I should say the torsion equivalent to a drop axle. Get you down lower to the ground, get you that nice low angle, but obviously if the deck moves down, you're gonna end up with a taller fender. In an application like this where you're not opening a car door or similar, uh, shouldn't really be any adverse effect to having that taller fender on there. This unit's gonna weigh in at about 1,500 pounds. It's gonna give you a net legal payload uh, off the 7,800 of about 6,300 pounds max uh, towing capacity. So the differences between this and some of the other brands that we stock, uh, currently we bring in a Corn Pro. That unit is a little bit narrower and it has a 5,200 pound axle. For guys that have just maybe a single smaller scissor lift that weighs three to 3,500 pounds, uh, it would be ideal. We also bring in a Lamar. It's actually the same size as this, six and a half by 12. Also has a 7K axle. Difference on it would be it's got a steel floor. So again, some folks do prefer the wood like this. Uh, if it's going to be wood, we prefer the oak. Uh, some folks, rental companies and that, sometimes do prefer the steel floor as well. So again, we, we have different brands that uh, have, I'll say, uh, suit different tastes in that regard. So one thing I'll point out too on a tilt trailer would be generally your axles are going to be slid a little bit farther forward uh, to get that lower load angle. Two ways to get the angle would be one, the, the drop axle, but then two, uh, that axle is pushed to nearly the center point of the trailer. Now to balance out your weight right to the tongue side, uh, this trailer is going to have a longer tongue than most trailers this size. Uh, that tongue's going to probably come in a neighborhood of five and a half feet. Typical tongue, you're going to be probably a touch less than four foot. So again, your axles on a tilt trailer generally going to be slid up about a foot to foot and a half. And again, to compensate for that, uh, your tongue on these are a little bit longer. So 12 foot trailer we said was 12, nine on the deck. You got uh, probably five and a half foot tongue. Gonna end up uh, probably somewhere in the 18 and a half feet range on this trailer tip to tail. So again, you see your latch on the far side as well. One of the only things uh, that Short Track does not have on this trailer that's on many of theirs would be a spare tire mount. There's no spare tire on this. If you want to mount, you could do a stake pocket mount uh, on a trailer like this. So we like the tube frame that they use. Many in the industry are going to use probably a channel 
Some will use a four inch, but again, uh, five inch tube tongue with the uh, lengthened tongue, gusset, and then your main frame. Do a pretty solid job on it. Some are what, I, what we would call a slam down tilt as well. This one here has your uh, gravity cylinder, just makes a fairly smooth transition. Try to demonstrate, obviously the more weight you've got and the faster you come forward, you know, the quicker it's gonna drop. My wife comments on my weight regularly, but uh, apparently I'm not heavy enough in this application to make this tilt trailer come down very fast. So there you see, it comes down reasonably slow. Put a piece of equipment on, it'll come a little quicker. Once it comes down, fairly simple. Just close your pin set up. And it's latched out. Fairly straightforward trailer. Short track scissor tilt, single axle. Again, uh, this would be your six and a half by 12, 7,800 pound GVW. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring, 717-220-4220. Or you can visit us on the website at bestchoicetrailers.com.